How about yeah. Shane Doom? What? Yeah. How about him like just killing the game right now? Killing Dude, it. It's it's now awesome now uh, hosting SNL. That's, the ultimate yeah. fuck you. I told him. I go, you win. You yeah. win. It's like SNL felt like they didn't need you, so they canned you. And now SNL is in such a spot where we're like, oh, we need Shane. I like that's the ultimate. Is this, when does this come out? Finger. It'll probably come out relatively quickly. Yeah, I'm just like, I'm so excited for the monologue. Yeah. Right? It's like, what are you going to, like, because like there's asking. so many ways you can, coming at people. you can do it. Yeah. You know what I mean? Like, yeah. And you know he's going to come firing all cylinders. I, mean, I heard he's like, going to go, welcome to Saturday Night Rive. <laughs> that would be gangster. <laughs> Fucking really lean into it. I want him. I want him. I like, that's it. You got to do it. I mean, and, and not, not that hard, but like fucking he's, uh, I told him that you should start with ching chong, ping pong. Guess who's back. <laughs> <laughs> That'd be a crazy opener. That'd be a crazy opener. Yeah. That, or like, you that, know, how he does a down syndrome. Like, oh, it nicked me. He'd just be like, oh, they tried jinking me out here. <laughs> hey, it's, there's so many. Me, they jinked me a little bit. I was down. There's, there's, there are, there's honestly, there's, the there's so <laughs> many, there's yeah, so we, many. Yeah. There's so many ways you can play it. Yeah. You, you can also just do a straight set. You can just do stand-up. I'll be happy with that. And you like, can just do stand-up. His new, what he he's working on right now it. is fucking brilliant. I would love that and be like, fuck you. I don't even need to address this. I'm past it. That would be cool. I'd be cool. With the, he can do anything. Yeah. He can do no wrong. I talked to Leanne. I think we're going to fly out. Are you guys going to fly out? Uh, Are you flying us out? <laughs> Tom? Yeah. G6. G6 is... You guys aren't gonna G6, go out hey, for, the G6 for the boys for the bears. Party. For the boys what? for the bears. For the bears. Are you gonna fly? That's out? our nicotine company for the bears. You're going for the bears. No. No, no, no. Bussing with the bears. Two bears in a bus. Two bears in one bus. Two bears in a bus. Two bears, one bus is not bad. Two bears, two buses. Mm -hmm. Wait, are you going? Yeah, we we're gonna fly out. Are you? Well, I I, I was with him. I, he didn't not today. Found out, but when we were, I was doing Winston Churchill Day, he pulled me aside and he's like, "Can I tell you a secret?" And I was like, "I'm not good at secrets." So if you don't want everyone to hear it. Don't tell me. This is also very true. Something that you should keep in your minds. And, I was like, and he was like, I'm doing SNL. And I was like, I have to tell Leanne. <laughs> he goes, you can tell Leanne. I go, I'm telling Tommy in like five minutes. And he goes, all right, hang on. You can't tell everyone. And I was like, does Rogan know? Because I'm calling him. And he was like, buddy. <laughs> and I was like, I was like, this is, I was more excited than he was. Uh, I was more excited because I think for him, it, uh, he, I, I don't know. I was there when it. I was. I was. I watched. I, I'm. I'm not. I have no credit for his career whatsoever. But I will say, when people were bailing on him, like I did, I definitely didn't. And uh, and I brought him out when people when people were saying, you know, hey, it's little. I was like, fuck that. He's my boy. Like I love Shane. I love Shane. I had Shane on. I met Shane a long time ago when I did calling sick to work in Philly. I got him day drunk, and he did the first time he ever did stand up drunk. And I, I and he said to me, I remember, you know, you find a moment when you fall in love with the dude. He was like, "Yeah, my ex girlfriend, my girlfriend's gonna be pissed." I said, "What's her name?" He goes, "Well, her nickname's Big Tuna." <laughs> and I started laughing so hard. And I go, "You have a, you're dating a chick named Big Tuna?" And he was like, it, "She plays rugby." And I was like, "Oh, I bet she fucking does." And no. I and it just that one sentence as a comic, you know, oh, that guy's good. He's got all the shit you need to be great. You're right. And uh, and. And I, I love that dude, and I love seeing him succeed. I love it. I celebrate that guy every day. I'll text him, and he's you know what he's good at. If we're gonna celebrate Shane for a second, he's good at texting. Like he'll send you a text just like uh, at the airport having beers. You're one of the top five hangs. Like just like a like a solid text guy. Well, I'm not good at that. Tommy's good at Tommy's good at emojis. Like he'll be like he'll be like. Thumbs up, fire, eggplant. Thing. Eggplant. Yeah, I'm it's, not it's good at any of that. one of the things I'm most proud of. <laughs> I, uh, I, uh, I didn't know him when when that shit went down initially. I didn't know him. You know, he's just like a, a name I didn't know. You know, and that that whole story blew up. And then I remember I remember watching back then. I go, I want to see who this person is. Like this, the story's about. I watched like a a little three minute clip of him doing stand up, and I was like, this guy's re like he's really funny. You watch a three minute clip, and you go, this guy's really funny. Mm -hmm. And I'd met him sometime thereafter, and then I saw his, uh, the first special he put was a YouTube special. And I told him, I was like, like, this is one of the best specials I've seen in like years. Like one of the best specials of the last five years. And then to watch his ascent, and like where somebody you go, like, I, like, I, like it genuinely makes me laugh, like really makes me laugh. Like I really enjoy the guy. And then to see it go to this level, but also just as a story, 
like a story arc of a place goes, you're hired, you're fired actually. We're leaving you on the street, goodbye. And then they're asking you to come back. I mean, there's not a better story, yeah. right? I mean, we haven't even, it hasn't even come full circle yet, but it's still just like an amazing story. And let's just say, for, and this is a sidebar in this conversation, he's amazingly fucking talented as an actor. He really is. And, yeah, I, and, 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 and it's just so, it's a Shane yeah. Gillis, if he's listening to this, knows. Gillis and I've been his. Yeah. I've been his boy in studio meetings since day one. I've been showing those clips to fucking execs. This is the guy. This is the fucking guy. Those fucking clips are so good. Gillian Keeves is so fucking funny. He's amazingly talented. He's a great comic, and he's a really solid dude. Yeah. He's a solid dude. He's not a dick when he shows up. He's fun. He's lighthearted. He has a good time. Man, I've, I like, and that's the other thing is, like, you know, I do Fully Loaded. I bring my daughters out on the road with us. And, like, I don't, I don't bring bad men around my, that group. I work with all women. I have 15 women I work with and my daughters. Shane Gillis. Shane Gillis is the most solid dude. My favorite Shane Gillis story, uh, last night at Fully Loaded, first year, Shane's doing it. And he goes up to Georgia and her best friend, Daisy. My, my daughter, she's like 18. And he's like, you guys drinking beers? And they go, no. And he goes, come on. I'm not your dad. You guys are sneaking beers. And they go, no. He goes, I'm not going to fucking tell anyone. If you're sneaking beers, tell Uncle Shane. Yeah. <laughs> We've been sneaking beers. Shane Gillis sits down next to me. He goes, George, drink of beers. <laughs> <laughs> I fucking love it. I fucking love that dude. Yeah, he's he's all I'm buzzed now. Yeah.